I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. People at home. So what I told the people that are here to do is just to copy what's on the board. What we're going to do today is kind of like what we did yesterday, except this one's going to be a little bit different. Since there's only a couple questions, I'm going to put all the formulas on the board. And we're going to do this as a practice so that when we have our tests, you kind of can use that to help you. Uh, in your book, I think you're at one. Yes, ma'am. I understand. 167. So you need to have your textbook open, those of you that are online too, and your calculators, please, open so you can use them. All right, is so everybody ready? That'd be yeah, and this is what I'm going to say. I'm using certain symbols. As long as you understand it's talking about something acting on something else, doesn't really matter whichever variables you use. I just use something that makes sense to me, okay? So let's look at number 26. So number 26 says you are riding in a bus moving slowly through Hesby traffic at two meters per second. You hurry in front of the bus at 4.0 meters relative to the bus. What is your speed relative to the street? So based on that, what did it say that the velocity of the bus as far as their speed was? What did it say in there? 2.0 meters per second, right? Okay, how about your speed? Four. 4.0 meters per second squared. So to be able to do this, one thing we're going to do is we're going to take VBS and add it to VYS. So one thing I'm going to do is going to plug those in. So I have 2.0 meters per second squared plus 4.0 meters per second squared. Okay? Now, the squared is on the inside, right? So we don't have to square anything on the outside. So let's turn our computers on. And what we want to do first, we're going to be in normal mode. We're going to be in rating. So check your mode first. The second thing you're going to do is you're just going to add these. This one's a simple math, right? 2.0 plus 4.0, 6.0. So my answer is 6.0 meters per second squared. And that's all we're doing on this one. This one is really simple, isn't it? I'm so glad they're simple today. I need simple. Huh? <laughs> no, no, not no most days. Yeah, and it's hard. It, and the thing about it is, is it's trying to figure out word problems are the worst ones. And if you can do word problems, you can do anything. And physics is full of word problems. So let's look at 27. 27, Raphael is pulling a toy wagon through the neighborhood at a speed of 0.75 meters per second. A caterpillar in the wagon is crawling toward the rear of the wagon at a rate of 2.0 centimeters per second. What is the caterpillar's velocity related to the ground? Well, I'm trying to look at the velocity, right, of the caterpillar to the ground. But I have to look at the wagon, right, and the caterpillar. So what is my velocity of the wagon? Yep. 0.75 meters per second, right? Okay. What is the caterpillar? Two. two. So that's 0 0.02 meters per second. Now, that caterpillar, is it crawling the same way the wagon is going? Right. It's, it's growing to the back, right? So it's going opposite. So since it's going opposite, what do we have to do? You can either add a negative or you can just subtract, okay? So 0.75 meters per second squared, and I'm going to subtract. 
0 0.02 meters per second squared. So, if you want to test it out, you can do uh, 0.75 plus a negative 0 0.02, and you can do plus 75 minus 0 0.002, excuse me, 0 0.02. Guess what? I get the same answer. I get 0.73. And it's meters per second squared, right? And that's all we're doing. You can either add a negative or you can just subtract it. If that's bothering you because there's a plus sign in the formula, then just add a negative. It's the same thing. So we're just trying to find the velocity of the caterpillar. But what we have to do is we have to subtract it because, of course, he's going in the opposite direction. What word in the protocol made you think of opposite? Because it says a caterpillar of the wagon is crawling toward the rear of the wagon. Okay? Here is my wagon. My person is pulling my wagon in that direction. The caterpillar is going to the rear of the wagon. So that's what made me think it's a negative. Got it? And a lot of times if you draw it, it makes sense to you especially if you don't understand exactly what it's saying. Because the first thing I do a lot of times is I'll draw the vectors, and then I'll go from there. But these, if I need to, I can draw the picture, right? So let's look at 28. 28 says a boat is rolling directly under a river at a speed of 2.5 meters relative to the water. Viewers at the shore see the boat moving at 0.5 meters relative to the shore. What is the speed of the river? Is it moving with or against the boat? So, what are my numbers? Uh, 2.5. Uh-huh. As the boat rolls, that's the boat rolls. That's here. 2.5 meters per second squared, right? Mm -hmm. And then the... The boat is moving 0.5 meters per second. Okay. 0 0.5. And can I say negative? Why am I saying negative? Based on where the viewer is, the boat is moving. Correct. Towards the shore is There you go. So do you agree with that? So let's see what what kind of formula are we going to use here? Same one as we've used before, right? So we're going to take our point zero point five meters per second squared, and what are we going to do with that? Add 2.5 meters per second squared, or you could just subtract them, right? Same thing. So let's try that. So get out your calculator. Remember, when you're using your calculator, you want to use the negative button, you want to use this one, okay? Make sure you use that. So negative 0.5 plus 2.5. Yep. What did y'all get? <coughs> I was going to say, I got a charger right there. You can just plug it in there if you want to use your calculator. What'd you get? We get two. You don't have to square it because it's in the outside. Two, right? Meters per second squared. Is it a negative or a positive that you got? I got a positive two. So there's my answer for that one. Okay. 20, that's 28. Now we're going to go to 29. Yeah. Well, first of all, it asked you a question. It asks you, what is the plane speed relative, excuse me, 20, 28. It asks us, is it moving with or against the boat? What do you think? Positive number. With the boat. With the boat. Very good. Okay. 29. The boat is traveling east at a speed of 3.8 meters per second. A person walks across the boat with a velocity of 1.3 meters per second. What is a person's speed relative to the water? And in which direction relative to the ground does the person walk? 
One's going downward and one's going right Yep. So one's going south and one's going east. Yep. But here's the formula that Miss Sloan gave me. Look at that one. Is that one different from in there? Yeah, way different. We're actually going to do a square root of this plus that. So, what's up both? Yep. 3.8 or is it 3.3? Yeah, it's 3.8. Miss Loon did it wrong. Oh, God bless us. 3.8 meters per second squared. Okay, how about the water one? Yeah. 1.3 meters per second squared. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to do the square root, right? The square root of 3.8 meters per second and we're going to square it we're going to add it to 1.3 meters per second squared that's on the outside so get your calculator and see what you got so i'm going to do um i'm going to do my second and my extra question. plus is that an a or you that's a U. And we're going to do an open bracket, 3.8 squared plus open bracket, 1.3 squared. And when you get it done with your calculator, I would like to see your answer, please. You want to go put it in there? Yep. We did 3.8 squared. Did you do the square? You did the add. Okay, 1.3 squared. That is the weirdest thing. Because you're on. No. Hey, it hurt. Sure, when you didn't uh, type that 1.3 and then stop your screw over top. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say. Is that right? No, you got a square root. See the square root? You got a square root first. For a second and then the x squared thing. Yep. Second. X squared thing. Oh. Did you do open brackets? I did open brackets. Oh, you did too. Hey, I got something. Did you use the uh, X squared key or did you do the pot of the uh, carrot two? Carrot two. Yep. I have found out it makes a difference, especially on these square ones. Yeah, what point on for? Yeah. Ladies, your hot just let me know when you got it. I'll be there to look at it. Well, I haven't even gave you the answer yet. How do you know you got something different? Yep, I'm coming. Yep, my phone. <laughs> I, I use the square key instead of the uh, carrot key. All right, let's see what you got. Okay, so you have square root. You didn't do that. 
I'm gonna go back. I'll show you how. You ready? Okay. So what you're gonna do is you need to get that blue key right here, right? That blue one right there will be X plus. So do the second and then X plus. Okay. Open bracket. Three point eight. Close bracket. Do the carrot key, which is this one. Two. Over. Plus. Open. Bracket. One point three. Point three. Close bracket, and then your carrot key and your two. Negative tan one is. Does everybody know where it's at? Well, then let's hit it. Tan negative one, and then your up up B is three point eight, right? And then we're going to do an alpha y equal, aren't we? Alpha y enter three point eight over one point three. Uh huh. Yep. Wait, that's our nine parts of this long. So let's see what you got. Oh, you want to go back? back? Yes, ma'am. You got to do the tans now. Who? The negative tan negative. That's a B. B B B over B W. Mm -hmm. Yep. So this is what I, alpha y equals. So I did tan negative one. Huh? Because I used the blue one. Above the tan is tan negative. Yep. And then open bracket. Open bracket and then alpha y equal. And then plug your top number in, which is 3.8. Over your 1.3. Nope. It's not asking for it. Over. Yep. Got it. Jeffrey, you got it? All right. You ready? Okay, so here we are. So we're going to do 10, negative 1, right? Here. Here's my 10, right? So the negative 1 on top. Blue and 10. Blue and then 10 is my negative 1. That's what I need. 
And I have to do alpha y enter to get my fraction. Okay, my B is 3.8. And my W is 1.3. Over, close bracket, enter. Go ahead and do the uh, last problem, Joe. Okay. All right, and let's see what you got. So, are you going to back and quick? Well, I don't know how to do it. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to see that 10 on the top of the 10, and then the one. Second. Second. It's okay. Second. 10. That's going to give you a problem. Yep. 10. Okay. And then we're going to have to do the fraction because that's what it says. So, we're going to do alpha, y, enter. No. Uh -huh. And then do 3.8 for the top one. And then 1.3 for the bottom. And then over and close the bracket. And hit in. And that's your up. Oh. Yes, ma'am, but what degree are you in? Are you in? What mode are you in? I don't know. I don't know. I keep getting up to I <laughs> No, we don't. You're fine, Jay. You're a perfect answer. All right, guys. So number twenty, um, number thirty, guys at home, you're going to do those on your own. Uh, make sure that you take pictures of everything today, including your notes. The notes are online, and then turn those in. And then tomorrow is test day, so make sure you do your test and turn it in um, by 3 o'clock. All right, thank you.